In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the TTGO T-Journal ESP32 camera dev board and compare it with the ESP32 CAM AI Thinker module. The TTGO T-Journal is an ESP32 dev board that features a 2 megapixel OV2640 camera. This is the same camera that comes with the ESP32 CAM and other similar boards. This board comes with an SSD 1306 OLED display that is compatible with the other fruit and other similar libraries. The OLED uses GPIO 14 and 13 to communicate with the board via I2C. These pins are also exposed here. So, if you want to connect other I2C peripherals, you can use these pins. We have a complete guide on how to use multiple I2C devices with a ESP32. Besides the I2C pins, there's also GPIO2 and GPIO4 exposed. You can use these pins to connect whatever peripherals you want. However, these pins were designed to connect servo motors. It has ground, VCC, GPIO in this order, like you have on a servo motor connector. This board comes with a micro USB port that makes it very easy to upload new sketches and connect your board to the computer. There's no need to use an FTDI programmer like you would need with an ESP32 CAM. The board can be powered through the USB port, or you can use the 3.7V lithium battery connector. Finally, the board comes with two buttons, a reset button that resets the board, and another button connect to GPI32 that can be used to trigger any task, like taking a photo. This board comes flashed with a video streaming web server example. Power the ESP32 through the USB cable. Go to your Wi-Fi settings or menu and connect to the TTGO camera network. Open your browser and type the IP address that is displayed on the OLED. You should see a live video stream. The video streaming example works pretty well, even when you move the camera. At this point, you should be wondering whether you should get the TTGO T-Journal or an ESP32 CAM AI Thinker. Here are some of the drawbacks of the TTGO T-Journal when compared with the ESP32 CAM. It doesn't come with microSD card support. It doesn't have PSRAM, which means you won't be able to run face recognition and detection examples. Additionally, it costs twice the price of an ESP32 CAM board. However, the ESP32 CAM with antenna costs around $7. And if you take into account that you also need to buy an FTDI programmer, the difference between both boards is not that much. In my opinion, for most of my projects, I prefer the TTGOTI journal because it's very easy to run new sketches with a built-in programmer. In summary, the best board for you depends on the project requirements and you can use this table on screen to see which features you need. You can order one TTGOTI journal and one ESP32 CAM and test them yourself. There are links to both boards in the video description. You can also download our sample sketches that were tested with this board. You can run a video streaming web server that connects to your network. You can use our Take Photo web server example that stores the last photo in SPIFFS. And much more. You can find everything in the video description. I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to catch my next ESP32 camera projects.